slower growth in South Africa is set to pick up after years of stagnation, according to a new report from PwC. Turning the economy round will take an all-out effort from the new president and top ministers. Pravin Gordon's leading the charge to clean up the public sector, plagued by corruption scandals. Now, Pravin Gordon, former finance minister, is now the minister for public enterprises. Viewers of this program will remember he previously served in government of Jacob Zuma. I asked him to assess the scale of the challenge before him. It's uh, reasonably bad, uh, Richard, because uh, state-owned uh, institutions uh, such as our energy institution, uh, ESCOM, our logistics institution, uh, Transnet, uh, and a few others were the targets of what we call state capture in South Africa, which essentially was about uh, massive levels of corruption to benefit a few families and to get the money out of South Africa. So I've been in the job for less than two weeks, but uh, this has been a matter uh, before the public eye uh, in South Africa for some time now. And uh, we've got a good feel for where, where the challenges are. And uh, President Ramaphosa, uh, the head of our republic, has uh, indicated very clearly what uh, are imperatives that we need to work on. And uh, we have a clear line of march. So what, what was actually taking place? Because South Africa is a well-functioning democracy and it has large numbers of regulators, experienced regulators. So it begs the question, how were these companies, these utilities, how was somebody able to state capture them? Well, as, as a study by several academics in South Africa has shown, uh, and they use the concept of repurposing, uh, which essentially means that uh, at a political level a set of decisions were taken to firstly take charge of the boards uh, of uh, these entities, chairperson of the board and a few members of the board if not the whole board itself. Secondly, ensure that these boards uh, in a sense got rid of good people in key management positions, CEO, CFO, head of procurement, uh, and similar situations and replace them with uh, people who would do the bidding uh, of those who wanted to turn these into corrupt entities. And thirdly, uh, some fairly sophisticated mechanisms were created to uh, extract money in one form or another, sometimes with the assistance of uh, accounting professionals, financial professionals, consultants, uh, lawyers as well. So you have a fairly uh, interesting mix of people in the state and outside of the state uh, that participated in this activity. Minister, uh, t last question and probably the most difficult. You were part of the government uh, that was there when much of this took place. And indeed the president was uh, part of the executive as vice president when much of this took place. I mean, not suggesting for one second either of you are culpable directly, but don't you all, all of you who were involved in the Zuma government, don't you all have some blame for this happening on your watch? I would say no, Richard, because uh, much of what has happened developed over a period of time in, in a very fragmented way so that one could not actually get the picture right. And it was around the dismissal of my former colleague, uh, Minister Nene, and then ourselves in March last year, exactly a year ago, uh, that the picture began to take some shape. And then, of course, you, you might or might not be aware that we had a massive leak of emails uh, from the Gupta family's enterprises, which helped us to, as we say in South Africa, connect the dots and get a proper picture. But to the extent that we were aware of uh, fragmented phenomena, uh, many people in government, both officials and politicians, certainly took some brave stances to uh, resist these developments and paid a price for that as well. Finally, Minister, I mean, you have been brought in to clean up this mess. Uh, your reputation is stellar in terms of that which you did uh, to Treasury and in taxation before you. So arguably they've got the right man for the job, but it's not going to be easy. Not at all. And so getting a, a, a good team together in 
the Department of Public Enterprises in the first instance, but working with colleagues in other departments as well, and in the law enforcement agencies is going to be critical as, as we go forward. And we'll give it our best shot, and I'm sure that if we talk again in six months' time or less, uh, we can certainly give you a positive uh, report back.